Okay, i um, getting a few people ask me about uh, music target curves and um, like how to make them or uh, just how to think about music in a different way uh, compared to say a Harmon curve. But you can use the Harmon curve as a basis for uh, what you want to do. So in the acoustic of a folder here, like we can just download the Harmon Carden curve. Oh, let's open REW. Okay. Let's get this in. Okay. Um, so just pull the Harmon curve into REW. Really simple. Now this is REW really just thinks this is a like a response. So you can just click EQ. Uh, can you see that? Uh, no. Uh, click EQ. And we can actually EQ the response of the target curve itself. So anything you don't like about, say, a Harman target curve, you can change. So if you come here... to um, EQ filters. This is, again, the Harman curve is a generic target curve. That's why it works so well for movies because you want that consistency. It's got good dialogue, everything. It's like really, really nice for movies. It's got a nice warm, uh, warm lift here. For, again, for movies, like with symphonies and things like that, it just makes music sound good for movies. It's just a really good curve for movies, but again, it's pretty bland for music. So the first thing you want to do to create a more musical um, EQ curve based based on this is first is the treble. You don't have any. Uh, you want to almost slightly wispy treble. Like if you're listening to say trance music, to be honest, any music benefits from higher treble in this 10k range so so you click on the EQ filters and you click uh, PQ so 10k is where we want to start EQ in from um, we'll go with two is the Q and we'll raise it by 2.5 maybe so that's what it did now that potentially could be a little um, maybe could be wider but um, that's that to me looks pretty good so we can take the actual curve off and now you can see what it's done to the curve itself it's just lifted the treble in the 10k area and that gives you a lot of airiness symbols sound really good see this 10k stays away from harshness harshness is here around 2 to 7k maybe six harshness can be here and we're not we're not in there you could even pull this down slightly which is the um, um, mid-range compensation area um, you could uh, do some things there just pull that down slightly this is snare drum area um, but because you've got the raise on treble here this will take care of a lot of snare problems because some of the snappiness comes into around 10k as well now you don't have to just do um two two uh db there you could go higher you could go for a three db rise you could widen it slightly uh is it one right you could you could do that make it a little bit more um a smoother rise so a one instead of a two that could also work and it, it the the rise really ends at around 5k but you could run a slight negative eq here as well if you wanted to take any mid-range compensation problems as well so i think maybe a three is uh, a one is slightly wide 1.5 looks really nice again you could just test these like just test a bunch have a bunch on hand and just load them in to uh, Acoustica and see which one you like. It's really quick. You could load the file in three minutes. Just ch keep changing the target curve settings. That's all you have to do. So treble-wise, that's how, that's how you would do it. Mid-range compensation area, again, just like keep an eye on it. Uh, 
Now, the Harman curve rises, in my opinion, for music too early. It can be a little too warm. So the way to take care of that is, again, the same PQ. Now, the problem area here looks around 200 hertz. So, uh, it, again, it's rising too early for music. For movies, it's perfect. For Not for, mu not for music, though. Uh, you want a tighter bass rather than that warm. That too much warmth in the bass just doesn't sound good. So you set this to 200 hertz. Two. Uh, two. I guess a 1. A 1Q. Maybe a 1D, negative 1DB. Ooh, yeah, so compared to the target. Uh, the original is the high one. And the low one is the EQ'd version of this. That looks pretty good to me. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you need to go much more than that. It's kept it flat all the way to around 200k, then it lifts. And it's got a slightly different arc as well in the bass area. I quite like that. And that's simple. Now, mid range compensation, uh, mid range compensation, probably 3k if we just wanted to do that as well. So 3,000. Um, one. Half a dB. Negative 0.5. Yeah, that might even be too much. That might be too much. So... <laughs> 0 0.3. Like, you don't need much. Because you don't want voices either to sound as though they're in a tunnel somewhere like that. So this wouldn't need much for a mid-range compensation just to offset any rise that you're getting from the treble, maybe. So you could go with a 0 0.1 or 2. It's not much. What would nothing be? It wouldn't be much. Again, this is just testing. See what sounds the best. That's it. That's all you do. Then filter tasks, generate measurement from predicted. So click that. Harman EQ. So this is now the Harman EQ version of this. Slightly tapered bass instead of rising too early. And we have this treble lift with a minor check there on mid-range compensation. May not be needed, but could it could be worth trying you get a pretty light feathery treble uh, with this and that's it then uh, what you do is you come to okay come to file uh, export measurement as text and um, I don't put any smoothing on it or anything I mean smooth anyway uh, don't include the headers um, test uh, musical Harmon curve. All right, so remove all. Musical Harmon curve, just drag it into uh, here now. That's it. Or again, now, now this is actually your EQ. Remove. Uh, EQ, target settings, remove the current target that you've got, uh, pull in musical Harman curve. Now just run uh, Acoustica again with this new musical curve, see what it sounds like. Oh, there's too much treble. Okay, back it down 0.5. That's all you need to do. So it's, it's really simple to create your own target curves. And I like using the Harman curve as a baseline because it's very generic and you can edit it. It's so easy to edit like this. Uh, nothing's been done to it. It doesn't already already have mid-range compensation, so you can play with that. You might not need it. I would do the treble and the, maybe adjust the bass first, or you could just do the treble. You might even like the Harman curve bass. I kind of, it's okay. Some music doesn't sound good with it, but a lot of music actually does. Depends on how the music is tuned, 
But the one thing about the Harmon curve is missing for music is that feathery treble. It just doesn't have it. But um, that's why movies sound so good. You don't want harsh or over-the-top treble in movies. It just doesn't sound good. But great for music. So uh, give it a try. And this is all linked on OCA's um, Google Drives. And REW is free, so just you know, pull it into REW, EQ it yourself, and use that target curve. Just play about, play around with them. There's a bunch of target curves in there already. I don't, uh, to be honest, I don't like most of them. So for me, they're not good for me, and this is why just messing around with a generic Harman target curve, which is very neutral sounding already, is a, is, is a good idea in my opinion. So check it out yeah and see what you think to that because uh, music just needs a little bit more lift in the treble so have a good one thanks